This past Friday, of course, marked five years since Mike Brown was shot and killed in Ferguson, Missouri. The head of the St. Louis Police Officers Association decided to mark the anniversary with this picture. I want to show you. He posted this on Facebook, and as you can see, it's a picture of former officer Darren Wilson, the officer who shot and killed the unarmed teenager, Mike Brown. And the caption says, Happy Alive Day, Darren. This is on the anniversary of Mike Brown's death. Yeah, Brooke warned me not to curse, and I almost I did, did it I just know. right it's there. Okay. Yeah. So uh, pretending that Darren Wilson's life was in danger. So uh, let's review uh, the facts of the case real quick from okay. back then. Uh, so Michael Brown had a, a close gunshot on his hand. So people say, well, they were struggling for the gun. Well, in a best case scenario for the Darren Wilson, they were in the beginning, okay? It's possible that the officer drew his gun and Brown just went like this. But everybody, including all the newspapers, just put out there like, oh, he must have been grabbing for the gun. No, you don't know that at all. What we do know is he was shot at close range in his hand. Then we all know, totally undisputed, he starts running away. And then there's this part in the autopsy where they say, here we can go to J3, the graphic. And this is Saint, I'm quoting the St. Louis Post Dispatch talking about the autopsy. A six shot that hit the forearm traveled from the back of the arm to the inner arm, which means Brown's palms could not have been facing Wilson, as some witnesses have said. Okay, that's an independent person who took it from everything she wrote was in basically in favor of the cops. And what they were saying there is he couldn't have had his hands up as people were claiming because it entered from the back of his arm and came out the front of his arm. Well, that also means that he couldn't have been facing the cop when he was shot in the back of his arm. I think the most likely scenario is he started running away as everyone admits. He gets shot in the back of the arm, turns around, and then gets shot in the front. And he definitely got shot in the front for the lethal shot, including the head shot. So now in this scenario where everyone says Michael Brown was running away, now you're gonna talk about, oh my God, Wilson, Officer Wilson, happy alive day, my God. Maybe he could have turned around and run back 30 yards and you somehow would have missed him with all the weaponry that you had and he was unarmed. So forget that, that Michael Brown's actually dead. But my God, an officer could have been injured for a second. There's a 1% of a 1% chance. So it's a good thing you murdered Michael Brown. So that's the implication of that tweet. So these are the cops that still run St. Louis, yeah. that still run uh, all those areas, Ferguson, Missouri, etc. Right. So whether it's Darren Wilson or not, the the guy who tweeted it is still there, saying, "Well, you know, if guys, caught a black guy unarmed running away from you, but you had some sort of altercation with him. He had what did he have? In this case, he didn't have loose cigarettes. He had cigarellos, and they say, and all of the papers smeared him with. He had marijuana in his system. What difference does that make?" He was running away when he was shot and killed. Now you're talking about happy alive day to the guy who shot and killed him. And then you go, oh, I can't figure out why the communities all across the country don't trust us. Mm. Yeah, well, that's because you're stupid and you don't give a damn about the communities. That's why you can't figure it out. And just like what this says to all those people there, all those people who went through, this was a horrifying, tragic event. Yeah. Like, let alone the fact that a kid, he was a kid, because a lot of people who don't look like that think, look at him and look at that face. His face wasn't even like fully formed. His face wasn't formed like a man and think, oh, he's tall and big. He looks like a grown man. He's scary. He looked like a kid to me. Well, he yeah. was a kid. He looked like a tall kid. And a kid lost his life that day. And that, for all of those people, being the head of the Police Officers Association, I get it. Your job is to protect the police, but you should be interested in good policing. Mm -hmm. Well, what you mentioned there, what they described, that's what Darren Wilson described him as. Yeah. And that's what a lot of newspapers ran with when they were calling him no angel and yeah. they were saying he was a monster and he didn't look his age. I mean, how many times do we see that? Relentlessly, the dehumanizing aspect of unarmed black men whenever it comes into an interaction with law enforcement. And listen, guys, this is why we, we do say Black Lives Matter and we consistently say it. And why it, it's so infuriating when people try to deflect and turn around and say, oh, Blue Lives Matter, because that's what this instance is. It's a yeah. way to continuously remind American citizens, oh, Black Lives Matter don't matter, but Blue Lives Matter. If we're alive on the day that someone else was shot and killed, that's what we should be highlighting. It shouldn't be in memory of a young man whose life was lost and families are still in agonizing pain who never get justice. But let's just remind the world, hey, this guy is still alive. That's fine, that's all, he never get held accountable at all, but we just wanna rub it in your nose that he shot and killed your son and he's still alive. 
The only tiny bit of justice here is that Darren Wilson cannot get a job. Yeah, well, he's not he's not on the police force. Okay, give it time. Yeah, it's all in the training, man. When they tell you that stupid saying of uh, better to be judged by 12 than uh, carried out by six, that means kill them and we'll sort it out later. That is not what we should be training our cops. Yeah. Two easy ways to follow the Young Turks. One is hit the subscribe button down below, uh, then you're a TYT subscriber. And second is ring the bell. And when you do that on YouTube, you're notified of our videos.